Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Siti Rubaini Mad. I am your Madam Ruby. Welcome to General Chemistry TST 0914. And let's begin our journey with Chapter 1, Matter, Lesson 1. Today we are going to learn about... Subatomic particles, proton and nuclear number, isotopes, and isotopic notation. These two course book has the same text. The addition that we use from last year is the orange ones, and the latest addition is the green one. So if you have either one of them, that's good enough. So, you have learned that Bohr's atomic model showed that electron moves around the nucleus in an orbit. Atomos means something that cannot be divided. So, in Al-Quran, Surah Al-Zalzalah, this is chapter 99. On the doomsday, men will rise from their graves and their good deeds and their bad deeds will be presented so complete and detailed that not an atom's weight of any good or evil will be left unnoticed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's look at the sentence in Al-Quran, chapter 99, sentence 7 and 8. The meaning, then, whoever has done an atom's weight of good, means khairan, right? Shall see it. And whoever has done an atom's weight of evil, also will see it. Later, Ibn Sina illustrates that he found electron as a sub particle in Surah Sabah, chapter 34. Matter. What is matter? What is the matter with you? Hmm. Matter is anything that occupies space and possesses mass. For example, air, earth, animals, trees, atoms, you, me. There are four main states of matter. Solid, liquid, gas and plasma. Another one is Bose-Einstein condensate. Solid, for example, diamond is worn on your ring. Solid can... Uh, undergo melting process to become liquid and you have liquid there near you as you're drinking water and then liquid can vaporize to become gas and gas will be ionized to become plasma. Here we are going to focus on the three states of matter solid, liquid and gas. The modern model of the atom is no more the Bose theory. Electrons now is not in an orbit. It is circling the nucleus in the form of waves, not in the orbit like the planet. We have three subatomic particles, electron, proton and neutron. Electron is the lightest whereby the mass is negligible. But proton and neutron both has relative mass 1. Electron is negatively charged. Proton is positively charged. But neutron has no charge at all. We have learned before that A, the nucleon number, consists of the combination of proton, Z and neutron. N. Proton number Z.
will be given in the predictable or in your yellow page. A neutron number can be calculated by deducting the proton number from the nucleon number. This is the isotopic notation. See? On the top left is A. On the bottom left is Z, Z. And the X is representing the chemical element symbol. For example, let's look at uh, Z. Here, will determine the neutrality and charge of the atom. This is a pattern that we realize when we look at the proton number Z. When the number of electron is the same as the number of proton, the atom is neutral. When the number of electron is less than the number of proton, it is a cation. It is positively charged because the atom lost electrons. And if the number of electron is larger than the number of proton, it is an anion and it is negatively charged. You can see here that the symbol for neutron is in blue color. Cation has a plus sign. Anion has a negative sign. So this is what we we uh, figure out when we look at the proton number comparing it with the number of electron. For example, here let's look at plutonium which was discovered by Seaborg and his team. Okay, the structure of an atom plutonium has 94 protons and 150 neutrons. So it has what is the number of A? Proton plus neutron, 244. And the number of proton, Z, is 94. So this is the only way that you can write or represent the element. This uh, format is called isotopic notation. Let's do example 1.1. Give the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons in each of the following species in the table 1.2 below. This is in your page 19. So the proton number for hygerium is how many? Yes, well done, 80. And what is the number of neutron? Okay, you find it from A. A minus Z is 120. Mia wa ishroon. Good. And what is the number of electron? Look at the species. Is it neutral? Is it a cation? Is it an anion? Yes, it is neutral. So we can put charge neutral here. Therefore, the proton number is the same as the electron number, which is now becoming 80. Good. All right. So next, let's look at copper. I'll make it fast here. Copper, the proton number is 29. The neutron number is 34. And the electron number is 29. Okay, next let's look at oxygen. This is an anion. So the proton number is 8. The neutron number is 17 minus 8, 9. And then the electron. Anion has extra electrons, right? How many electron extras are in this species? 2. So the number of electron is 8 plus 2. Okay, next we're going to look at cobalt ion, which is a cation. The proton number is 27, the, num the neutron number is 32, the electron is 24Y. Because cation lost electron, how many? 3. So 27 minus 3 is 24. What is the charge for hygerium? Correct. Copper, neutral also. And 
anion gave negative charge, cobalt ion is a positively charged species. Now let's look at isotopes. This lithium ion, this lithium element has three isotopes. And the isotopic notations are given in the slide. You can see here that all the Z is the same, but the A is different. What does it say? Yes, the neutron number is different. So isotopes are the atoms of an element with the same number of protons, but a different number of neutron. You can see here lithium-6 would have three neutron in the nucleus. Lithium-7 has one, two, three, four. Eight has one, two, three, four, five neutrons. Isotopes of an element will have the same number of protons, charge of the nucleus, number of electrons, electronic configuration, and chemical properties. But they have different number of neutrons, relative isotopic mass, and physical properties. The applications of isotopes can be as neutron activation analysis, as traces in cancer technology and radiation detection. Let's do example 1.2 in table 1.3. Calculate the number of subatomic particles in the three isotopes of neon. So, given in the question, the proton number is 10, the Z is 10. So, the number of proton is 10. What about the number of electron? Is it a neutral element? Yes, neon is always neutral, right? So the number of electron is 10 and the number of neutron is A minus Z, which is 10 as well. So 10, 10, 10, right. So now let's look at the second isotope. This is called neon 21. It is also having the proton number 10, the electron number 10, but the neutron number is different, yes? What is it? Yes, 11. Correct. You got it. Next, let's uh, do neon 22. The number of proton is 10, the number of electron is 10, and then the number of neutron is? Yes, correct. 12. So let's um, do another question. You can write this on your pop quiz page. Write isotopic notation for all isotopes, for neon, of course. So you can write it down, 2010 neon, like that, uh, as shown in the slide. So there you go. We have learned all the things that we should learn for the first lesson of the first lecture today. Thank you very much for listening and stay tuned for the next lesson. Assalamualaikum. Bye.